first full-time job after university was for the Australia Council for the Arts, or it was called the Australian Council for the Arts then. And this was in the early 70s, very exciting days of the um, Whitlam government. And uh, the chairman was Nugget Coombs, and the chief executive officer was Jean Battersby. And it was a time where there was more money than applications. So we would spend quite a lot of time trying to find people and projects and assist them on the music board with their applications for support. What I love hearing and humming is, is um, I suppose, operatic arias, which then are sort of transmuted into something incomprehensible for everyone else. Um, music of, of uh, you know, profound rhythm, of course. Um, but I, I think I enjoy listening to lots of different styles of music and more so since I've come to Melbourne Recital Centre because in fact my own taste and knowledge has broadened in the, certainly in the contemporary, uh, popular and um, world music sphere since, since uh, attending concerts at Melbourne Recital Centre. I've been fortunate in that I've had several. Uh, there weren't any courses in arts management or arts and business when I was um, when I'd graduated from university. So I left with a music and drama degree, and frankly, learnt on the job. And uh, it was a great opportunity to to experience and to witness and to work with fantastic people, starting from. Jean Battersby and Nugget Coombs at the Australia Council to Donald MacDonald and Ken Tribe at Music of Eva and then various colleagues and artists um, over the years, conductors, directors, um, actors, performers with whom I've had the great pleasure and privilege to work. You cannot overestimate what how important communication is and how important um, telling people in different ways what the vision of the organisation, or uh, what its priorities are, and you can't assume that people can read your mind. And I haven't found that technology has improved this one bit, because you can write emails, you can write in the way that we used to write faxes, you can send telexes or you can send an SMS, but it doesn't assume that people read and or absorb. So somehow being able to cut through uh, the mess or the plethora of information that's around to make sure that people understand what's going on and what the priorities are um, is still the biggest challenge, I think, of management. I think it's very important to keep alert and aware of what's going on and preferably to see as much of what's going on. It is important, I think, to network, although it's a hideous word uh, and it sounds so calculated, but I have found since moving to Melbourne, which was not my hometown, that in fact uh, being able to go out and meet people and join uh, or speak at organisations uh, about Melbourne Recital Centre was an opportunity for me to make networks because I didn't have them in place uh, when I came down here. And it is a city that um, has very passionate supporters, uh, just look at the football, uh, but also of its arts and culture. Um, and to actually have an understanding of that is part of what networking, for want of a better word, gives you. But I really think it's about meeting people and making connections and having an understanding of what else is going on and an appreciation uh, of what other organisations are doing. What is a step down? I guess a step sideways. I don't think that a career in the arts is necessarily a, an upward trajectory in terms of responsibility. I think it's always a broadening and a diversity of uh, what you've learned and what you've done. It's not the same as a corporate career where one starts at one level and moves up the ladder. I could imagine very happily uh, moving from a general management position, and in fact I did do it at Music of Eva. I went back there before I moved to Melbourne. Um, 
Having been a CEO at the Sydney Symphony, I went back and worked with, or for, the uh, CEO of Music Aviva, who had been the development manager at the Sydney Symphony. And it was a specific job, and I enjoyed it hugely. So if you thought that was a step backwards, yes, it was worthwhile doing, because I got a chance to focus on one specific area of work rather than having to do as a general manager what you need to do, which is to be across everything, and, and you get very little um, time to do the work in the areas that are fun to play with. Mm -hmm.